Me and Shay have literally just finished recording a video which turned out to be absolutely exceptional and genuinely one of the best ammonite finds we've had in years. We started filming the video thinking it was going to be a tiny little Dactylioceros ammonite, still a nice fossil, but as soon as we started removing the shale from the slab, we couldn't believe what was inside. Let's have a look at the video of what happened. What on earth is in that? Looks like the keel of a huge Hildoceros ammonite. <laughs> it looks <laughs> massive. I wasn't expecting that. We were starting this video thinking it was going to be a little Dactylioceros. <laughs> well, this has really piqued our interest, hasn't it? Yeah. Let's get it out of the slab. Okay, so the, the slab itself is split in half. Right, so if we just take this piece off, just start to expose a bit more of the nodule. The shale's pretty soft, so easily. Okay. Oh wow, so... Oh, there's Whoa. the... <laughs> oh my gosh! There's a huge ammonite. There's the mouth border there. Can you get any more of the shale off so we can see how big it is? Or should we leave it like that? Get my smaller hammer and be able to take some of the shale off. This is unbelievable. Use my smaller hammer. Take away some of the excess. I wasn't expecting this. I mean, this, this genuinely is one of the biggest surprises we've had in a long time. <laughs> That's crazy. It's huge. Should we wash it in the water? Yeah, that's it. It's definitely one to take home and prep, we know that for certain. Yeah, if you flip it over, how big is it? That's one of the biggest Hildoceros ammonites we have ever found. That is surreal, I, I can't believe it, really. You can tell it's fresh out the slip because it's still got a, an orange brown stain on it. It's really nice. Make out the shape of the ammonite there. Yeah, it might be a bit difficult to tell on camera, but it is a complete Hildoceros ammonite and it's really, really large. And from that side, you can just tell, can't you, Shay? That's going to be something special. It really is. Definitely. The complete outer whirl of the ammonite extends beyond the actual size of the nodule. The nodule just covers the centre. That's how big it is. That's awesome. Dad's going to look forward to prepping this one. Oh, definitely. I'm looking forward to seeing it. After removing this huge Hildoceros ammonite from the slab, we thought we'd try our look again and remove another nodule. Let's see what's inside. My safety glasses on. See the nodule just down here. So let's remove it and see if there's anything inside. There we go, it's already starting to release from the rest of the rock. It's a nice shape. See the little keel of an ammonite just there actually. Let's give it a crack with the smaller hammer and see if there's anything else inside. Just the small ammonite on the edge. I hope you enjoyed watching us reveal that excellent ammonite. It's absolutely stunning and we are over the moon to have found it. I can't wait for my dad to prepare it and see the finished result. We'll be sure to show you it when it is fully prepared. As soon as we took the fossil home, my dad prepared it the same night. It's the next day now and we're going to finish off the video by showing you the fully prepared Hildoceros ammonite. 
really can't wait to show you it. it. Took a fair few hours for my dad to prepare it, and I think you're going to absolutely love the way that he chose to prepare it in the end. It really is a work of art, and we're so excited to get it added to our collection. I'll show you it in just a moment. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. It's the next day now, and my dad has already prepared the Hildoceros ammonite. I'll show you the finished result right now. Here it is. He spent pretty much the entire day preparing it. And he has taken it completely from within the limestone. So we're left with a 3D specimen, matrix free. Look at the detail all the way to the centre. All the lovely sutures. It looks stunning, both sides. No crushing whatsoever. The specimen is just totally three dimensional. Put a lot of work in particular to the mouth border of the ammonite. You can see here it's complete all the way to where the actual ammonite creature would have lived. Quite often this feature is worn away but not in this case. Absolutely over the moon with this ammonite. What a really exciting and completely unexpected find. It's one that we're really happy to be adding to our collection. Hopefully we find another one like this soon. However, specimens such like this are very tricky to come by. Here's a few still photographs for you to have a look at of the same Hildoceros ammonite. My dad put so much effort into this as well as all of the other projects that he's working on at the moment. If you like fossils like this and seeing them get prepared, we've got other fossil preparation videos of some really large ammonites already on our channel and more to come. But there we have it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode. Just to round it off, here's a lovely scenery clip following one of our fossil hunts.